For the second time this summer, the people of Harpswell have a dead whale on their hands as well as a dead shark. This is the fourth recorded whale death this summer in Maine waters. And like the others before, this whale will be taken to a farm to decompose underground. Many of you have asked, why aren't the whales simply hauled out to sea instead? New Center Maine's Alex Haskell went to Harpswell today to get the answer. A humpback whale brought to shore in Portland this past June. Another a few weeks later in Harpswell, this one off the coast of Wells earlier this month. Now a minke, also in Harpswell, even a shark. Exactly how they all died is mostly unknown, but their fate, all the same. Decomposing on a farm, but why not at sea? Dealing with uh, a stranded animal, a dead stranded animal, is actually one of the more challenging parts of marine mammal stranding response. Sarah Wilkin is with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. When it comes to disposing of a whale carcass in Maine, Wilkin says there are two options, leaving it in the environment where it's found or taking it to be composted. It depends a lot on the size of the animal, the condition of the animal, the available resources, the, the land where it landed. And actually, even towing offshore is logistically challenging. In Harpswell, the town has opted for the compost option, not wanting the potent scent of rotting whale overtaking local beaches and because of the challenges of towing it back out to sea. To do that, you need to, per the requirements, bring a like a full-size jersey barrier or something with that kind of weight out with you so that the carcass would actually sink to the bottom. And when you're working with a 20-foot skiff, Harbor Master Paul Plummer says it's impossible. A Jersey barrier would sink that boat. Two whales and a shark pushing 20 feet all dead is something Plummer says he's never seen before and could take a toll on the community if it continues. Well, the bill to remove it, this last whale was $1,000. In the scheme of things, a public health hazard, that's not bad. Um, but if this were to continue, you know, $1,000 can add up. From NOAA's perspective, this is all common. For the last seven years, it says there have been ongoing unusual mortality events involving whales. We are actually um, investigating them actively. NOAA says it believes some of the deaths are due to human activity and infectious diseases. In Harpswell, Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine. NOAA says if you come across a whale stranding, you should call the agency's hotline. It's 866-755-6622.